Seth David here with the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about barter transactions when your customer is also a vendor. How do we record this in QuickBooks Online? This actually comes up quite often, and it can get a little tricky in terms of how to record it. But uh, I think the way that I'm going to show you how I do it, uh, I think you're going to agree it makes it very easy, make very simple. It kind of makes it nice and clean. So we're using the example of my customer, Raymond Reddington, who also happens to be a vendor. If I run my balance sheet, you'll see that I prepared it with um, a balance in accounts receivable from him for 150000 a balance in accounts payable to him for 250000 So we owe him more than he owes us. And you don't want to mess around with a guy like Raymond Reddington. We need to settle this balance quickly. So here is how we do it. And just so you can see some of the setup on this, uh, when I set up the customer, what I do is I put his name in here with a little C in parentheses. So I know that's the customer version of his name. You can see it's got the, the receivable there of 150000 I'm going to duplicate the tab. And, of course, on the vendor side, we're going to do something similar. We're going to put his name in there with the letter V. So I know very easily when I'm pulling the name up in a drop-down, which is the customer version of him and which is the vendor. So here is what we're going to do. Let's go to the chart of accounts. I'll leave this here just for reference and duplicate the tab once more. And let's go to the chart of accounts. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to add a fish, a, a fish, a fictitious bank account. Okay, cash on hand is fine. We're going to call this barter clearing, right? Another clearing account. I love my clearing accounts. So we're going to create a dummy bank account. Call it barter clearing and save and close. And this is what this is the whole secret to this. Because now what we're going to do, because we're not going to necessarily pay, you know, the cleanest thing, by the way, is not to do any of this and just agree that you'll pay the, the vendor, you know, you'll pay the person what you owe him and he can send you a check for what he owes you. That's the cleanest way. Because then we just receive a payment on the invoice, deposit it into our bank account. Then we write him a check for the bill that we owe him. And, and that comes out of our bank account and it's clean. But I know I've worked with a lot of clients, companies over the years who, for whatever reason, they don't want to do that. They just want to net it all out, right? And, and do the barter thing. Fine. So here's what we'll do. Same process, but we do it through a fake bank account such as this one. So first, let's get paid. Okay, so we'll go to new and receive payment. And we'll pick Raymond Reddington, the customer. And let's put it in for today. And we'll just check off the invoice. But the deposit to is going to be that barter clearing. Okay, save and close. Because we're done there. So now we've got 150000 in barter clearing. Now we're going to pay him also out of this bank account. We're going to end up with a negative balance in here. I'll explain what that means and what we do with it. So now we'll go to pay bills and we're going to pay it out of that same barter clearing. Also on today, we're going to pay Raymond $250,000, right? Notice it's even warning me because of the barter clearing account. It only has 150. It's warning me my new account balance is going to be negative $100,000. It doesn't matter because it's not real money, right? It's just to net out the whole difference in one place. Now, of course, what this says is that we owe him $100,000, right? And funny enough, we have exactly $100,000 in our Wells Fargo bank account here. So what we're going to do is now we're going to write another check to Raymond. And this is going to be Raymond Reddington, the vendor, although it doesn't actually matter in this case because the bill's paid, right? There's no more receivable or payable. If I go into these tabs, this should be zeroed out. I guess I need to refresh it. Right, so there he is at zero on the vendor side. Refresh my page. Just to make sure. There's Raymond Remington, the customer. No longer owes us anything, right? So that all zeroed out, but now the difference is kind of sitting reflected in that barter account, which is negative 100000 So we're going to write a check out of our actual Wells Fargo bank account. And for the category, we're going to put that barter clearing. We're just going to record it to that to close that out. 
right? But this is going to be an actual check, which we'll print and send or pay them online, however we're going to do that. Okay, and then in the description, we can put, you know, difference in balance owed versus what he owed us, okay? I don't know why I have to do that. It's my OCD. It drives me crazy when that bleeds onto another line. Anyway, save and close. Uh, missing class. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> and now you can see the debt is settled. The barter clearing has now zeroed out. Of course, I have no money left in my bank account, so I'm sort of screwed there. But at least I don't have Raymond Reddington coming after me to collect. That, my friends, is as simple as it is. You can do this all day long with as many people as you need to record barter transactions for. So there you have it. How to handle barter transactions when you have somebody who is a customer and also a vendor and balances to settle on both sides. And for some reason, we don't want to keep it clean and just pay each other. Then this is how you do it. Nice and clear and clean. Use a barter clearing account, bank account, get paid through that account, make the payment through that account. It's fake money. And then you can either write a check if you owe them the difference or if they owe you then of course you're going to get paid you'll record a deposit into your bank account and then offset that the same way through what would have been a positive balance in the barter clearing so you'd effectively be transferring the balance from here over to here if that's the way that it went as always you know where to find me if you have any questions concerns comments feedback complaints whatever you got give it to me. I'll take it. I'll give you answers. If I've had the experience, you're welcome to it. As always, I hope you had some fun here, learned something along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.